it's been difficult you know it wasn't like we got married and it's like everything's great it has been very difficult um yeah it's not really what i expected to be honest i would describe it as like a roller coaster over a year well we're gonna see a lot of that play out on happily ever after you two yeah. are now living in austin but we also see you found out that Rob actually betrayed you even more than you originally thought in the premiere episode. A month after we got married, mm -hmm. you did a factory reset on my phone. Mm -hmm. What did I find? You found conversations. I found all these tags, all these other girls on your phone from the whole four years. It was like 50 bitches on your phone, Rob. Do you think Rob has the capability of changing? Because right now it's looking like he has <laughs> commitment issues which just feels deeper than just saying, I'm sorry, I won't do it again. I know, like, sure, it's like, I probably look like a clown for forgiving him again, but at the same time, like, again, I, I think I'm just understanding, like, he never, it was never while I was here and we was married. Anything he did was while we was apart from each other, long distance, for years, you know, during COVID, we was apart, you know, eight months or so. Like, I'm not saying it doesn't excuse his behavior. What he did is disgusting. I stand by that, but... I think I just, I wasn't ready to throw away my whole marriage over something that was done during long distance before my visa was accepted, before I even came here. I just think that, you know, I, I do think like, I've never caught him cheating in real life. It's always been text, still not okay, but I think that he is capable. He just, I guess he just needed me to be here. What I've realized These little, is small you, interactions. you cannot take accountability and you're always going to try to victimize yourself. I'm not trying to... You, like, if, you're not honestly, accepting me taking accountability. Be, all, honestly, all you need to do is say, like, I know, I'm really sorry. How can we fix this? Done. I watch the show and I see you, this beautiful girl who has so much potential, um, who's so sweet and also grounded. I just didn't understand seeing Rob's behavior. What was it about him that had you so in love? Despite the times he betrayed you, despite him not stepping up and being the man you wanted him to be, what is it about him that just the audience we we didn't see? I think, you know, you guys get to see the 90 days process, which is probably the hardest part of our whole relationship. When Rob is stressed, you know, he's, He's, you know, a bit of like Rob the Knob, like my mom says. He's the epitome of a knob. He can act that way, but I think he has a really sweet side and it's just hard for him to show that when he's stressed. I think it both, a lot of our negative emotions were shown, um, mm -hmm. but I think that, so I don't know, it's just like, I love him. Like, I don't know how to explain why. Like, I just, I know him as a person and when we're not having issues, we're laughing all the time. And I wish his good traits were shown a bit more, but yeah, I think it was just hard for him to show that in such a difficult um, process. Yeah, I wish I had the opportunity to talk to him directly because I will ask him these questions. But mm -hmm. those bad traits, like a seemingly having struggles with commitment or his temper. Neither of y'all can sit here and tell me about what I should have done and what I should have because neither of you guys have ever been at the bottom. It's that's something he's working on. Um, that is something that I guess before, to be honest with you, um, during the 90 days, I just didn't really see it. I don't know why. I guess I just, um, I knew who he was. I didn't really, I didn't realize it until what, now when I watched it back, I was like, wow, he's being really rude to me actually. But at the time, like, I just didn't see it. I really don't know why. My mom saw it, I didn't. But um, yeah, I think now that I like, especially after watching it and realizing like, you know, um, I've just told him like, in order for me to want to be with him, he needs to deal with that. You know, I'm I'm a very like positive person. We're kind of ob opposite sometimes. Like he's more negative about things. And I said, he kind of needs to change because I don't want to be with someone that I feel like all the time is like, is moody with me, you know? And I think that he's really trying, like he's, he's putting a lot of effort and he has changed from that period of time, but it's still, you know, it's a work in progress. Yeah, yeah. Because clearly as a viewer, I can see that Rob has been through some things and um it's he just yeah it's it's some some things he needs he needs to work through what do you yeah. think is the biggest misconception viewers have about him i think that people think that's who he is all the time i think people just assume he doesn't have a good side um but he does he really really does and i think he he is a good person he just he I guess was never taught how to like treat someone in a relationship and I was never taught how to like have boundaries and standards for myself so that's why at the time I was accepting it and he thought it was okay to treat me that way but now I think 
he um he's a good person he just has a lot of things and stuff he needs to go through and reflecting and i'm not someone that like if i love someone i'm not gonna give up on them like i i i want him to really like better himself even if it's not just for me like for himself and i think that he he has a, a good side that i guess people don't really see much of yeah which I, I don't know why i wish he showed it more but he just he seems to only be that way with me like when it's just me and him around other people he's just i don't know he's very like opinionated and just i don't know a certain type of way <laughs> yeah well clearly he feels safe with you um which is a great thing i love robin i want things to work out with us in our marriage but i just feel like i don't know if i'll ever be able to trust him again after he online cheated on me multiple times that being said, do you feel obligated to make this work, even if it's really not working for you? I wouldn't say I feel obligated to anyone to make it work. I think that, like, I just know I, I'm i not someone that, like, gives up on something that I know I once really wanted. And I think that, like, I just want to try my hardest to make it work. I don't think I don't have to stay in this if I don't want to. I know I can walk away at any point. He can walk away at any point. But I just want to at least give it one final try. Like we finally made it. I finally hear like I want to just give it my all. And if yeah. it doesn't work, then if I look back, I'll be like, I fully tried. So I can never look back and regret it. So that's real. That's real. Well, we also see that you moved in with your best friend, Kay, <laughs> because of the issues you and Rob are going through. How did you meet Kay? Because y'all seem really close. You have a blanket with your pictures <laughs> on it. I got her that blanket for her birthday. Um, yeah, we, we met. Um, so basically, I, because I guess even prior to Austin, honestly, I didn't really have like many f close friends necessarily. And I think once I moved to America, I, I made more of an effort, I guess, to put myself out there. And I joined like, um, I was on like a social media group for like girls in Austin and some girl, it was Kay was like, hey, I'm hosting a girls meet up at the field or the lake or whatever. I went by myself, she went by herself, and then we started hanging out and then we just became best friends pretty soon. <laughs> Bro, to be honest, I am thinking that, are you this girl? Like, are y'all in a relationship? Yeah, well, Rob has his concerns, especially that now that you're living with her and considering that you came out to him as bi. You know, when viewers watch this, they're going to think, are Sophie and Kay dating? What, um, what's your response to that? Honestly, I think, you know, I'm sure people will say that or saying that wherever. I think that like, like if I wasn't bi, I don't really think it would be a discussion. You know, I think that like, it's, it's very normal to have like close friends and like, I'm like a ride or die friend, so is she. And I think that like, she's just a friend doing a lot for me. It's nothing romantic, like that's my close friend. And I think that regardless, you know, my type is different from Kay, we're just friends. I don't know, it's cause I'm bi, people are gonna be like, oh, but no, it's solely platonic and she's straight. Um, I'm obviously not hundred percent straight, but she is. Yeah. Have you had a chance to explore your bisexuality yet? Um, I haven't, to be honest. Um. I think that it would be kind of silly to explore that while I'm having issues in my marriage because that's kind of just, that's not putting in the full effort that I really need to be putting in. If my marriage was perfect and Rob was okay with it, then yeah, but I think that um, it's just not really the time to, and I wish I would have did it before, to be honest. I wish I would have did it before I got married, but you know, I realized this about myself a bit too late and wasn't able to, but yeah. But this is a big thing, Soph. You need to go and try it before before you get married. Because, like, you might end up falling in love with the most wonderful person in the world, and it'd be a girl. Yeah, but I know I want to marry a man. I know that. You could see... I, like, like, I, like, I, I want, like, mm -hmm. a Seems like you don't really to, like, know anything right now. Stuff in the house, like, yeah, no, no, manly stuff. You're clearly confused marriage. with life. I'm not confused. <laughs> okay. I can personally say I grew a liking for your mom and uh -huh. how honest she was um, and how she let you make your own decisions, but she didn't hold her tongue when it comes to how she felt. How is her relationship with Rob now? Has there been any progress made? I think that my my mom knows how, you know, she wants me to be treated and she can't see Rob treating me that way. And I think that as long as he's treating me that way, she's never gonna like him. Uh, he's ne he's never gonna like her because he feels like she's too involved in our relationship. But I think at the end of the day, like it's my mom. I'm not telling her to mind her business, so you, he can't really blame her for having an opinion. Um, that's my mom, you know. Um, and yeah, we're just we're very close, and it is hard to have this situation with like my husband and my mom. 
especially for me, like it's very stressful all the time having to like be in the middle of two people that I love. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I just think that they still, they just don't like each other to be honest. And I think that it's not that she doesn't like him as a person, she just doesn't like him for me, unfortunately. I would like for you to come home so that we could try to work our shit out. In my opinion, you're the same as before two and a half months ago. That's not fair at all. What can you tease about your journey on Happily Ever After with you and Rob? What can you tell us? Um, I think there's gonna be a lot of new, like, there's gonna be a lot of new people you meet and people that I've met, you know, moving to Austin. There's gonna be people come up from my past life coming in that you guys will get to see. It should be interesting. Um, you get like to see exes, me. like your. Um... I can't say who, but it's, it's it's definitely people from my past that come up. Um, and yeah, just you get to see a lot of me and Rob just working through our issues and having new issues arrive, old issues issues arrive, and just drama and you know things going on with my mom and it's just a lot. Honestly, a lot a lot happens. So it should be yeah, it should be interesting. <laughs>